friends, welcome back to the Mickey Bunch. Come along with us as we walk around the Disneyland Hotel, the original Disney Hotel. We're going to check out Frontier Towers Lobby. We're going to walk by the new Disney Vacation Club Tower. We're going to grab some food. We're going to do some shopping. We're starting at Pixar Place, and these nice cast members offered us a ride over to Disneyland Hotel. We're in. I love being driven around by handsome men. Whenever I visit downtown Disney, I love going to the different Disneyland hotels. This is my first time being taken in a <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a blessed night. Ooh. Frontier Tower, here we come. I'm so excited to be here in the Frontier Tower to check out the replica of the original model used in the design of the wildest ride in the wilderness. This is a one quarter scale model and is one of the few remaining original nine plaster copies. As the plaque accompanying the model reads, this is a recreation of the original concept model for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland, created by the talented artist of Walt Disney Imagineering. Imagineers use scale models such as this as a tool as they define and refine designs for projects. Disneyland Hotel celebrates past, present, and future with its three original towers, Adventure, Fantasy, and Frontier, each a homage to the park's original lands. Now, you can even stay Disney Vacation Club Discovery Tower in the new villas, offering more of the comforts of home of Frontier Tower, as you go along the pathway, you'll stumble across a hidden gem, Cascade Falls and Old Lone Faithful. They're miniature versions of their namesakes that left Frontierland to make room for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in the 1970s. Outside of the Frontier Tower, you can also see a floral Mickey in a coonskin cap. I love to walk the grounds at the Disneyland Hotel. Even if you aren't staying at the hotel, it's so much fun to visit Trader Sam's and explore the scenery. We have a quick tip for you. If Trader Sam's is really busy with a huge wait and Tangaroa Terrace, what you're gonna wanna do is go past the singers, take a right past the bar for Tangaroa Terrace, and go to the quick service. You can get all that great Polynesian food, those fantastic drinks without the wait. This is the poolside bar, but it's behind Trader Sam's and the terrace. <gasps> Look at desserts. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. But instead of waiting in all these lines, look at all these lines. All the busyness. There was a huge line for... Did you come in here? Nobody's in line. Get your food. Amazing. So happy. menu is full of legendary Big Island Bites, everything from Hawaiian platters with marinated short ribs or teriyaki chicken, fresh poke bowls, hot ramen, 
all the Hawaiian flavors. Love it. In addition to the fantastic carbonated deliciousness offered refillable in the Coca-Cola machine, you can also order all the fun drinks, including a Dole Whip float. And if you're over 21, you're gonna wanna add a bit of rum to that. Yes, there you go, Scotty. Happy birthday. I did not get a 69. I got a 52. I, I got the Karen of all numbers. Okay, so I got the kids meal. I'm about halfway done. I'm already getting full. The key to coming here is you can order the kids meal. Love that. I am all about saving money. So if you do come to the quick service side of Tangaroa Terrace, you can order a kids meal. This one came with teriyaki salmon, rice, broccoli, a slice of pineapple. I asked for extra teriyaki sauce and included the drink for $11. What a deal. Whenever I come to Trader Sands or Tangaroa Terrace, I always get the fried green beans. They're so good. That sauce you dip in them, definitely recommend. So good. Now that our bellies are full, let's head over to Fantasy Tower, the Fantasia gift shop. One of my favorite Disney shops anywhere. I love it because they have so many things that are specific to the Disneyland Hotel. All with that retro vibe. cute is this Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room ornament? I love it. I'm obsessed with this Live in Park Life collection. So adorable. Look at this lounge side bag. Perfect. It's that perfect Disneyland blue. And this one has pirates right in the center of that front pocket. Absolutely in love with kind of the retro playful vibe of this collection. I'm needing this bag but your girl is broke. So I'm gonna dream about it. And look at these like retro hotel keys. Are you kidding me right now? And I love that 1955 is on one of the keys. Too stinking cute. ornament of Minnie and Daisy definitely living their best park life on a girlfriend's trip right in the teacups. I'm obsessed. Love it. Oh, I mean, I may need these. <laughs> They're so Matterhorn. Cute. Sleeping Beauty Castle, Mickey's Fun Love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is happening? I mean, I don't need another, but yes, maybe I do. I like the hoodie. That oh my even goodness. cute. Look. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love that. It's like a front. Oh, the front. Oh, that's so oh cute. Goodness. And it's embroidered. What? Put Disneyland on the sleeve. So Sparkles. cute. Sparkles. Oh my gosh, even the bottom sparkles. We need, we need. Oh my goodness, adorable. Oh, I need those. The icons. Yes, yes you do. Like, Scotty, it may be your birthday, but I need those. That's the one I was looking at. Love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's one over there with the pirates, uh -huh. like perfect right here. And I'm like, mm, oh. that has my name on it. I am so cheap though. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> but also it's like, once you've had that cast discount, as you know, yeah. it's like- It's kind of hard to buy anything else. You're just That's like- It's like you cringe, you're like, Oh, I love that. That is the best. I love the color. I love everything about it. Little pool yeah. is like <laughs> OG. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club hat. <laughs> Aww. I know. <laughs> Disneyland. One of my favorite things about visiting the Disneyland Hotel is just wandering around the hallways and checking out all of the amazing Disney art. And if you meander down this hallway, it's between the convention center and the Disneyland hotel lobby, you will find this treasure of Disneyland memorabilia and a gallery of the timeline of the Disneyland hotel. It's everything past, present and future Disneyland and I am here for it. Also, to the fact that it's made out of white paper mache. And there's like eyeballs. Oh, yeah. Like, on the, they've put it on like a face. Yeah, Absolutely nice. stuff and nightmares. <laughs> This is like the best game of I Spy. Do you spy any of your childhood favorites in this memorabilia case? Let me know in the comments below. I used to have this when I was little. Which one? The little top. Oh yeah, where you push it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And all the records, you know yeah. what I mean? Ugh. I still have a lot of the records. Oh, I love it. Disneyland Hotel in the 70s. It's weird how this hall is so dark. I didn't even realize. I don't know. I've never come that way. <laughs> I, this is what I love. Just the OG, 50s and 60s. Look at this. That is so amazing. In 1954, Walt Disney met Jack Rather, who was a producer in Hollywood and owned television and radio stations across the United States. Since Rather had the financial means and the interest in real estate, Walt asked him to build a hotel complete with a restaurant and swimming pool next to Disneyland. 
The rest, as they say, is history. Disneyland Hotel Convention Center is so beautiful with its sparkling blue floors and it's just stinking cool to be able to see one of the original Autopia vehicles. Love it. This is a picture from a few years ago. One of my favorite things to do at the Disneyland Hotel is go up the sparkling blue staircase up to the second floor. It always feels like I'm not really supposed to be up here, but <laughs> no one stopped me yet. But there is such beautiful artwork up here. This mural of the castle is gorgeous. It's just a really quiet place to sit and chill and take in all those Disneyland hotel vibes. I'm obsessed. favorite piece of art is this one depicting Splash Mountain on opening day. Can you see the hidden Mickeys in the carpet? Let me know. I was so excited to take a sneak peek of the lounge at the Disneyland Hotel. This is formerly the bar area of Steakhouse 55. Now, while Steakhouse 55 hasn't opened or reopened as something else, Disneyland has opened the lounge and it looks amazing. I'm gonna include some pictures of Steakhouse 55 and what it looked like before. Thank you so much for coming along with Nikki and I as we walked around my favorite Disney hotel, the Disneyland Hotel. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this video is and if you've ever been to the Disneyland Hotel. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet so you don't miss anything Disney, anything the Mickey Bunch, or any of our shenanigans. Thanks again for watching. Have a blessed and magical day, and I cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye.